Welcome back to CBS This Morning. The number of reported coronavirus cases around the world has just topped 30 million. The World Health Organization says alarming rates of transmission can now be seen again in Europe. So that brings new urgency to the global search for this vaccine. Holly Williams is the first network correspondent to see how one vaccine candidate would be produced for widespread use. Holly, good morning to you. Good morning. There are 36 vaccines for COVID-19 currently in human trials, according to the World Health Organization. And we were given rare access to a facility here in the United Kingdom where a vaccine could very soon go into production. This sterile production line could be mass producing a vaccine against COVID-19 within weeks. Right now, they're training staff, filling glass vials with water. They could start filling vials of a COVID vaccine here as early as November, maybe even before a vaccine has been approved. And that's because as soon as they get that final approval, they want to start sending it out to the public. These are unprecedented times and require unprecedented initiatives. And the world needs about uh, seven and a half billion uh, population to be covered. Managing director of Wokart UK, Ravi Lamay, told us his facility can produce up to 240 million doses of a new vaccine in a year. But if the vaccine they start producing here doesn't get approved for safety, they'll simply have to throw it out. Is it a gamble? Is it a gamble to start packaging up millions of doses of a vaccine before it has that final approval? I wouldn't say it's a gamble. I would say this is investment in public health. The Oxford vaccine, arguably the front runner in the race to stop the new virus, despite a recent pause in its trial, will likely be produced here. The US government has given more than a billion dollars to the drug company behind it, AstraZeneca, to secure at least 300 million doses. But the world's biggest vaccine manufacturer, which is based in India, warned this week that production is not being ramped up quickly enough and it could take until 2024 to produce enough doses of vaccine to cover the entire world. Anthony. Holly Williams in London. Thank you, Holly.